we are live what's going on everybody hopefully everyone has had a great week so far i am going to be streaming the monster breeder today and the monster breeder we took a first look at it the first time i ever played it uh on sunday and i tried to play veteran difficulty and i had a lot of issues with it um since then i've put about 20 hours into the game and i've essentially mastered veteran difficulty i've definitely gotten to a point now where i can uh i, I have beaten the game or essentially beaten the game I and mean, i almost have all of the a uh all of the um whatchamacallit it's the achievements for it right um because there's not that many achievements for it yet and i think it's time for me to try and take on the hardest difficulty settings so that's what we're going to attempt to do tonight and i know that there's not that many guides out there going over the hard difficulty settings because all the monster breeder does whenever yo what's going on sean <clears throat> i'm so excited to see your notification pop up what's going on sean how you doing my man but I know a lot of guides um, basically show that you don't need to play on master. You can play on beginner or experienced or veteran or anything like that because essentially all it does is make the difficulty uh, ch like options just more, you know, uh, not. Uh, it's just it's just more grindy right and everything here is fairly granular granular um the biggest thing is is that there is an end to the monster breeder the way to win the game is for you to reach 100 renown essentially and you have to do that before your main character dies of old age or if you're a combat character before your main character dies from you know combat so that's how you lose the main character dies or you go completely bankrupt and you have no more money um so so that is the the death conditions right monsters can get crippled and result of combat injuries this is a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie i really like this part right here sucks but it's okay i get i got used to it it just it gives you a timer on how many times you can actually fight with your monsters even in a uh uh non-lethal fight Guild's entry quest is prerequisite for fighting in the arena. Um, this is another option that I've kind of gotten used to. Um, it's it's imperative to rush this and streamline this as much as you can. That way, by the end of the first year, you're able to actually fight in the arena because that's where you get your main money. Hybrids fight in the arena. Non-hybrids fight in the catacombs. This is something that's kind of a pain, but it's okay. Poor quality crossbreed potions and even breeding causes harmful uh, effects. Yep, it costs money to use runestones and magic scrolls. This one's going to be kind of trippy, but I think I'll be okay. Removed organs decay by 10% each turn. I'm okay with that. That's fine. <coughs> Is there any succession of main character dies? I don't think so. I think that's just it. So if you want to play this in an endless setting, which, by the way, endless is like every turn is a month okay so if every turn is a month and you start off when you're like 16 or 18 as your main character you don't die until you're like in your 50s or 60s dude like it, it's a long time you have a lot of turns like just just to think about it 10 years you're not even 30 yet and it's been over 120 turns right like by the time you're 30 it's been over 120 turns it's it's such a long game that by the time you die of old age if you have not actually completed the game then you're kind of playing it wrong or you're taking it too slow um but yeah so i'm on a master quest here and we're doing the pokemans kind of um so i have been at the central province which is kind of nice but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so what we could do is a uh, look for, honestly, anything. More warriors and blacksmiths, fewer alchemists are skilled in brewing combat potions. <coughs> yeah, that's some longevity. So yeah, and the game is still in early access, right? So this game, 
if I were to pull it up on Steam, right? And I don't think you guys can see it. But, so, th it's currently in the works for a graphical overhaul on launch. They're, in, they're going to be incorporating full crossbreeding between species, like different classes of animals, uh, upon actual launch. So on actual launch, not only is it getting a major graphics overhaul, but it's also going to give you the ability to breed mammals with reptiles or mammals with insects or insects and reptiles and crossbreed everything. And if you don't think that's fucking cool, then I'm sorry, this game's definitely not for you. Because for me, it's all about what kind of abomination can I come up with? And that's that's literally hit. That's like that. That's the game. That's what's fun. Um, we are going to. <coughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We could do neutral for the st starting province. It's not really going to be that big of a deal. Um, we could go jungle or we could go snow. Um, I'm really kind of just on the fence on what I want to pick and start off with, right? Um, because I know Master's going to suck. Because if you look at veteran, veterans only half all the stuff, and then there's uh, magic costs and removed organs do not get decay. Right? The difference between veteran and master is like twice. Enemy strength suddenly got uh, instead of plus fifteen, it's plus thirty. Arena reward minus sixty instead of minus thirty. Stocks minus sixty instead of minus thirty. So, yeah, like, it's going to get a little dicey here. But we, we're on a master quest here, and I'm just going to, you know, we're going to change this up a little bit. Or change up our, uh, oh, I do like this. I do like this a lot. And then we'll change this a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at all these. Um, Yeah, I'm okay with that. We can do that. I can rock that. And then we'll just change the color real quick so it looks a little bit yeah we'll do that <clears throat> we're on a master quest ladies and gentlemen and i hope that we're able to beat it so the one thing that i have realized and we're going to skip the introduction is that warrior isn't bad a warrior start is not bad but i don't care for it um the archer starts actually pretty okay the problem with it is that you getting the eggs the juvenile creatures and meat um is not consistent and because it's not consistent it actually hurts you quite a bit i may try this out just for funsies but the one thing that i've actually had the most success with is actually going as an alchemist and the reason being is now i can basically max out my intelligence stats so i learn as quickly as possible and then i just make my own crossbreed potions like that that is it that like i think that's the best way to do it so, yes, <laughs> sorry, um, Warrior does give a little bit of extra stable income in the beginning, which is really, really huge early game. Late game, it doesn't matter, but, th but by the time you hit late game, I mean, you should be established. So, honestly, for the ma th this, honestly, ma th this may be the best option of starting out for Master. I'm not going to lie. No, potions actually don't make money. Potions, uh, crafting in general, does n is not a good source of money. It costs too much, and it takes too long for you to actually make money. When you're spending a thousand gold, or whatever the actual cost is for you to uh, a turn, you can't make up a thousand gold with crafting. You just can't. You have to fight in arenas. You have to like butcher monsters. You have to do stuff to make money, right? And crafting is not going to help. However, um, being able to consistently make crossbreed potions every turn is a huge help because now you can breed uh, hybrids with these potions and then use them in the big arenas. That's kind of the thing, right? So doing that is huge. Being a warrior would help a little bit because it will help pad your income and it gives you an extra fighter. But I think going as this is a little bit better. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off as an alchemist on this run, and I just really hope it doesn't bite me in the ass, right? 
Um, and we're going to do the, we're, we're calling him Master Quest. We're, we're, nah, we're just going to, uh, M Master Clyde. Yeah, Master Clyde. There we go. So, first things first. Now, our repairs are even more expensive. This used to cost only 600 Now, it costs 800 and we only have 2900 gold. We do not have money. Money is a thing that we do not have. We cannot repair this. We cannot fix this. We could just set this, right? This is super damp. We have monsters. We have a small chamber. We got our little alchemist shop, right? That's all we got. Um, and we have the nest in the basement. We have the egg thieves. We, we can look at the egg thieves, but we're not going to do it because I, I can't, right? And then we have the new, uh, the guild membership. We have the catacomb, monsters, base, slave warrior, and treasury. So, um, yeah, we're, we're basically, we're here. We don't have any eggs. We don't have nothing, right? So let's go ahead and go to the uh, markets and see what we can do. Right away, there is a green ant that is a female that we can purchase. Honestly, a tamed green ant is huge. But let's take a look and see what else we have here. Um, we have some worms, some li little bitty, you know, buggies. We got a harvest worm, which is really cheap upkeep. Um, and then we have a vampire worm. And we can breed these basically indefin indefinitely without crossbreed potions because they're both worms. However, uh, they don't count as hybrids. So I won't be able to use these in the arena, right? Um, Reaper Dragon is arguably one of the strongest things there. It, it's such a strong fighter, but it's super expensive. There's no way I'm going to be able to actually raise this and have it tamed. It's going to die right away. I don't have enough upkeep to actually breed it or anything like that. Um, the only other thing that I think would actually work really well would be rats. And the reason I say rats is because most mammals, right, most mammals, and let me let me move my camera to the bottom right here so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Um, most mammals can be fully tamed uh, very quickly, very quickly, very easily, all right? Um, so, yeah. And if I do the taming of these, if I get both of them, I should be able to a, uh, also go higher like an archer and then fight the, uh, the, the bug in the basement. So, and then we can sell those eggs, but I think that's how we're going to have to do it. Um, the only problem is I don't know exactly when, how long it's going to take for this thing to grow up. So let's take a look. It's going to take three turns. Three turns is okay. I can deal with three turns. In fact, I would really like to find a male, uh, beast that we can get a hold of like the wolf. So we can get a crossbreed going, um, or even a, uh, a male rat, but we don't have a male rat here. <clears throat> Thanks for moving the camera. That's way better. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm just like, yeah, you know, I should probably here. I'll even make it a little bit more permanent here. Give me, give me two seconds. We're going to, we're going to go to my face. Y'all going to see my face while I, while I make some changes here. So let me, let me go to my, let me go to my, uh, my mode here. And, uh, I think I'm doing this right, but we're about to find out. Uh, I need to go here and okay. We're still good. We're still good. And then I need to, uh, add some stuff here and I, I, I'm, I'm making changes. Y'all can't see it, but I promise I'm making changes and these changes are going to be great. Um, and now we go bada bing bada boom right so now 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 if i were to go into the game and tab you guys can't see my steam so boom yeah i'm i'm a professional streamer right so totally <laughs> I, I was able to edit my overlay without things looking all wonky okay so anyway right now we're gonna have some major issues if we try to this is 92. I, I wonder if I could sell that for more. Hmm. That, hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I can. I don't know what, okay. How much are you, how much are you worth? A hundred. Which is accurate. I'm about to waste some money. Potentially waste some money, okay? So we're going to potentially waste some money. I'm going to buy this for 92.
I'm going to sell it for 91. Okay. I thought I found an infinite money glitch, but that's okay. That's okay. I, I, I will gladly waste one gold. One, one gold for, you know, the heck of it. I'm okay with that. I have 10 upkeep. Goes down to 5 upkeep. Goes up to 19 upkeep. Um, okay. All right. So that's fine. Um, and I really, really, really need a male beast. And if I have to buy the juvenile wolf, I have to buy the juvenile wolf. Um, or I could get a hunter bug and a harvest worm. Or actually, no, I'm going to get the, the two different worms. Okay. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to keep the harvest worm at 10. And this one I'm going to put down to 0.5. Okay. And we are now here. Uh, we do have a nest in the basement. We're not going to worry about this for a couple of turns. So we're going to go ahead and just wait. We're not going to, we're not going to build anything. We, we can't build anything. We don't have the money and we're just going to, to we're going to kick it a little bit here. Um, we are going to go ahead and sell basically everything that we've got. We're going to sell these two potions at least. And we're going to hold on to these last three because they're all useful. And now we're going to double check here. We have one turn until the two vampire worms come up or the two worms come up, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead and enter turn. Okay. Now what we need, we have one turn to get this nest in the basement handled. What we're going to do is we are going to recruit uh, let me see here. Your salary. Okay. We are going to hire this dude. Just this random guy. Random guy, right? Um, and let me go to combatants. He needs a weapon. So now we need to buy a weapon. The cheapest weapon we can find. 180. Boom. I'm okay with that. We're burning all the money. We, we're burning these, these purchases that we have right now, right? But here's what we're going to do. Okay, Spiny Rat has one more turn. I can handle that. I can handle that. What we're going to do is we're going to breed these two. And it's going to take three turns. But that's okay. So we're going to take three turns to breed them. Um, and they're going to be in this dungeon cell. And neither of them are tame, by the way. So this, this is what we have to do. And we're going to breed them. And then when we're done breeding them, we are going to just slowly start selling them as they come out. Because uh, we can't afford to upkeep them for too long. Because we have uh, an upkeep cost like 328. I really should have waited one more turn uh, before I bought my warrior. But that's okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to equip our warrior. And we need to go to the nest in the basement. And we are going to send in Fendril. And we're going to send in the Spiny Rat. And this is our goal. Our goal is to get Fendril killed... And the spiny rat to not die. That is our goal. That is what we're doing right now. So. Here we are in a basement. We got to get to hold of these eggs, right? And now what we do is we end the turn. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to bite. Ender turn. Cool. He's dead. And now we're going to bite. And we're going to bite again. At the end here, because Spiny Skin got it. And boom. So we lost Fendril, but we only had to pay him. We didn't have to wait for the end of his contract. And we got the three eggs that we needed. Now, this didn't really work out as well as I wanted it to. Because I should have bought him the turn I was going to burn him. But a, uh, that didn't quite work out as expected, right? So 136, we're going to just accept all the money that we can get here. Um, I'm not worried about anything else. And now we have our Spiny Rat. And we have our harvest worm and vampire worm, and we're still waiting on a potential uh, a potential male rat. Is we're, we're hoping for either a rat or something else that's fairly cheap. Um, I know we can't afford a wolf, 
So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Um, and we have to wait a little bit, and I'm hoping that we can get away with using um, these worms real quick. But worst case scenario, um, ooh, I don't, I, I don't want them to die. I really don't want either of these to die. Let's send in the spiny rat and hope for the best. Okay, cool. Spiny rat won. Uh, we got a little bit of money, which is what we need. And spiny rat did not, you know, take too much damage or anything like that. So we're okay. We still can't afford to actually build anything, right? And we're still waiting one more turn before we pop out some eggs and then we can start selling them. We need to get rid of this vampire worm. This vampire worm only eats 79% of a plant diet, um, which is, it's kind of not enough. You need more plant diet, so it costs less money. Plants are cheaper than meat. So that's what this is, right? Um, the higher the plant diet number, um, the cheaper it is for you to upkeep the monster because that's essentially what your uh, ma main costs are, is just feeding them, okay? Um, we have a deserter's mission that's out right now, but we're not going to do that. We're going to, ooh, evenly matched. I really don't want to lose um, our only spiny rat right now. But I also know we're going to be in quite a bit of a pickle if we don't get anything else soon. I honestly think our run may be uh, almost over right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Um... I hate to do it to the spiny rat, but we're sending it in. Spiny rat died. That's okay. Okay. Okay, cool. We have the herbs market. We have herbs collected. Um, so now that we have some herbs that are slowly getting co collected, right? What we need to do is we need to find potions that we're able to actually brew right now. Um, so far, it doesn't look like we have very much of anything that is going to allow us to actually brew potions. But once we get to the point where we're able to actively brew potions, we'll be able to supplement some income for the time being. But now we have a vampire worm and a harvest worm. We're going to go ahead and go straight to the catacombs. And we're going to do the heaviest bet that we can, and we're going to send in both of them. Um, next up, now that we have a dying harvest worm, we're going to go ahead and use a vivisection on that so we can learn um, some research unlock, right? So now we're going to go ahead and learn a, uh, a, a organ removal. And now we'll be able to start a uh, taking out organs from monsters and then selling them. Um, so we have three of or four of these eggs, right? Um, and we have to essentially figure out which ones that we need to sell. Um, this one's worth 134. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we have a few others that haven't quite hatched yet. We're going to go ahead and just, you know, wait and see how this is going to turn out. Um, we're only spending a hundred a, a month right now, which is much better than, you know, a couple hundred. We have uh, 95%, 84%, 88%, and 93%. Uh, poison spit, poison spit, spiny skin. This is actually one hell of a fighter. Um, Lifesteal, poison spit, poison skin. That's really cool. Um, and then we have lifesteal, poison spit, poison skin, and spiny skin, female. And they're all female. And then we have poison spit. So honestly, these are all like really solid. I'm not going to lie. This one here is really freaking nice, but these are all a uh, purebred. Um, so since they're not crossbreeds, I can't use them in the main guild right now, right? And we can't really do too much while we're waiting. And I just need to double check and make sure that there's no uh, eggs or anything like that right now, uh, that the hunters have that I could potentially buy and utilize. Um, next up, we have one more turn until these monsters are available for us to fight. So I can't really do anything. Uh, all I can do is just wait for new uh, things to pop up in the market. Right. Uh, looks like the hunters now have new stock where they have a harvest worm hatchling and a Varanus hatchling and a sea Varanus egg, but nothing actually good for us. We're going to go ahead and go to the catacombs, and we're going to send in all of them. Uh, hopefully, uh, none of them die. 
but if they die, they die. We have one that's set to dying, and the rest are all there. Now we have eight turns to try and come up with something to actually make money. Uh, I think this is a game over. Not going to lie. I think it is, but we're going to have to figure it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Harvest Worm Hatchling because we need some form of hatchling, right? Um, ooh, we could pick up a Slave Warrior and try to do something with them, but that's not going to help me out. The The good news about slaves is that you don't have to pay them. <laughs> uh, that as, you know, lovely as that sounds, you don't have to pay them. So, I mean, it's fine, right? Um, I really don't know if we're going to be able to piece this one together, though. Um, research completed. Okay, that's nice. Um, the problem is, is we are bleeding out. How much money are we losing right now? We're burning 132 every turn, right? I think the warrior may be the better option for us as a start out. I'm not going to lie. Um, so we have the harvest for our monster. And we can't really breed anything, right? There's nothing that we can hire. And then we can just go here and try to, you know, make a little bit of money. But let's also take a look at the monster, right? Like, how much is this thing selling for? 244 or a strong blood potion. So I could take the 244 instead of the 200. The uh, I could, you know, have fought it in there. But then if it died, I wouldn't have gotten anything. Oh, I needed to pick a research there. Um, so now we're basically kind of at a, a standstill here, right? We're just going to keep ending our turn while we're waiting on new stock to come in. So we have a green a uh, ant hatchling, a cave arachnid egg. Ooh, okay. And then we also have a velvet spider, a red leg spider, and a black bear. Um, a red leg spider and a green ant hatchling. I could probably get a solid crossbreed going. I'm not sure how long it's going to work or how, how long it's going I'm going to be able to survive for this um I don't know if it's going to I, I have to last for at least like three or four turns actually longer than that so uh we'll figure out how this is gonna go end our turn uh we missed a quest new new herbs are picked and everything like that do I have anything that I can actually craft yet um we have antitoxin I can craft two of those um and it looks like that is it and they're not going to be very potent, so they're not going to be worth very much, but it's starting to get me at least a little bit of money, right? And now suddenly we are out of money. Um, we need to go, and I'm going to take a look at my inventory here. So my antitoxin is worth six gold. Nice. Uh, rusty brown sword, everything else is basically there. We're going to have to take out a loan, and hopefully we will be able to, you know, manage. This red leg spider is super expensive cost 300 right now for us to keep up right um we're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit though we really are to see if we can just you know have the red leg spider fight evenly matched we won so that gave us a little bit of money we're still gonna have to go ahead and take out a loan uh because it's going to cost us quite a bit for the next couple of months right um taking out as big of a loan as we can for the longest amount of time um and hopefully we can survive for you know the five six turns that we're gonna have um we now have our monsters that are grown up we're gonna go ahead and breed if we can reproduction is not possible because we have cold sickness i can't fix this I cannot fix this. It's in June and it's cold. Oh, it was because it was in the keep, but it's not tame. It, oh, it is tame. I should have just left it out here. That's game. I don't think I can fix this uh, quick enough. Okay. Um, let's take a look, see at our monsters here and see if we can breed them real quick. We have one turn on that. Okay, that's fine. End the turn real quick. Now we have a successful reproduction. We have four eggs. One's going to hatch in five, one in four, two in three. That's fine. And now we basically need to just go ahead and send both of these uh, monsters in because there's nothing else we can do. 
they're both dying, which is unfortunate. I don't have uh, the ability for us to heal them. Uh, we don't have that yet. So I can't pull out their organs. I can't do anything like that, um, which is unfortunate. And we have to get organ removal too, and then we can get insectoid combat surgery. But now we have our eggs that have hatched, and they are terrible hybrids. But I think I can survive long enough, maybe, for us to get something going here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think we're in trouble here. I still think we're screwed. But you never know. You never know. Research has been completed. That's nice. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our research. Try to pick up combat surgery. Uh, we have one more turn here. We now have guild membership. So we can now fight in the arena, but we don't have enough units for us to actually fight in the arena. And we don't have, yeah, we need at least three. Um, and we are negative on money. Let's go ahead and end the turn one more time. Uh, I guess we took out another loan. Um, wow, that's rough. Okay. And now we can fight. And hopefully we can, you know, survive. But it really depends. Probable defeat. That's rough. And basically now I have one insectoid that's not going to be a, a tamed that's going to be coming up. And I am losing how much money uh, a turn right now? 359. Okay. Do I, is there anything I can do to patch this up? I could pull out another insectoid. I can get this hatchling hunter bug. Um, but I can't breed him. I'd have to afford another crossbreed potion. Crossbreed potions go for about a thousand. I don't have enough monsters to fight in the arena yet. No, that's game. I can't patch that together. So we're going to go back to main menu and we're going to try this with the warrior. We're going to try master difficulty with the warrior. And I want to see how much money we actually get from the warrior because I felt like the last time we actually didn't really make anything. But we'll try it. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to lower our weapon skills quite a bit, right? And we are going to pump up our intelligence and our hit points. Our hit points need to be high. Very high. Very, very high. Um, we also need to lower our fear. Because fear is a very, very strong uh, thing. And I need, I'm going to want a couple extra hit points. What is this, trainer? Uh, we, I don't care about that. We're not going to train anybody. And we're going to want a little bit more strength. But yeah, that should work. And let's go ahead and try this out. I have no idea how much money we're going to be making from this. I hope it's enough to offset at least our very beginning stuff. Uh, but yeah, first things first, we already have a sword, which is nice. Um, we should be fairly tanky and we are going to build ourselves as a sword and board um, person. So we are going to learn one-handed weapons. We are going to bump up our strength as well. Um, and we're going to just try and get ourselves set up to be uh, as much of a repose tank as we can, right? That's kind of my thought process here. Oh, okay. So endurance is how you get that. All right. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to get ourselves set up in a way to where we'll be able to do that. And now we have a spiny rat, a black bear, and a reaper dragon here. And what do we have here? We have a juvenile wolf and a juvenile water rat. We're going to pick up the, it's like the same pool of spiny rat. Wait, wait, wait. It's a male spiny rat. Boom. And we're picking up the, the female water rat. And I'm picking up the juvenile wolf. It's a huge hit to money right now, but it's worth it. 
especially when I can go to my nest in the basement now because I'm here. Uh, and we're going to go in there with the spiny rat and uh, myself. And we are this time we're not going to get the warrior killed because obviously the warrior is me and I don't want to die, right? And I should have enough HP to survive one round. Okay, and then boom. And then boom. Easy peasy. We got our three eggs. What we're going to do is we're actually going to turn right around and sell these eggs. Um, how much are these eggs worth, actually? How much are these eggs worth? 96, 97, and 100. Uh, this one could also be used for a fine gauntlet. A fine leather gauntlet, actually. Or a leather greave. And this one could be a standard agility potion. Um, we're going to pick up the... 90 this is 100 we're going to go ahead and just sell the one that's worth 100 and then i'm going to slap this into the keep chamber here um we're going to go ahead and go here get this turned out into being a oh what should this be what should this be we're going to turn that into another hatching area and we're going to use our monsters here and that is basically it there's nothing else we can do um, I'm going to skip construction. We are going to skip a, uh, a lot of things here. Um, and we have just our spiny rat and we have our wolf and water rat as well as two hunter bug eggs. These hunter bug eggs are free. They require no upkeep. And because they require no upkeep, we are going to hold on to them just long enough for us to actually, you know, get things a little squared away. I'm just now realizing that I'm not getting any sounds right now, right? So give me like two seconds here, guys. I'm like, I don't know why this game's not making any noise. Maybe it's because I've got it muted. Oh, who'd have thunk? Who would have thunk? Man, look at that. It's almost like I should have turned on the sounds, right? I'm like, why is my game not making any noise? And then I was, and then it dawned on me only, you know, 40 minutes into the stream. Um, so now we are not going to go to the catacombs it, they, it's just enticing right now because i know we need money but also i'm just we're just going to figure it out um so we make 200 we make 200 from being a warrior which right now is enough for us to pay uh to actually turn a profit 200 is all we need to survive and now now it's not Even enough by me, because these a uh, hunter bugs now cost money but because they hatched, we can take a look at them and see what's what. Um, they cost a lot in upkeep, and they're honestly they're they're the exact same uh, offers that we could have got, right? Increase so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sell both of these hunter bugs, and a uh, get the whatever money we can from it. Um, I'm not going to raise them to being adults or anything like that. It's going to cost too much, and it's not something that I want to deal with. Market. Um, we are slowly getting money more them. money right now. And now we have a spiny rat and a water rat. Now, I really want to breed the spiny rat with the water rat, but we're going to hold off on that. The reason being is that uh, monsters require a, uh, they have like a recovery period after Even being pregnant. Meat from okay. And I want boost. to get hybrids quicker than I want to get uh regular monsters right so if i'm breeding a water rat with a spiny rat they're both rats so it's not an actual hybrid it's just like a, a, it's kind of like you know a pedigree or a new breed of rat but it's not like a wolf rat right so because in order for me to get access to the guild membership which allows you to fight in uh arenas that don't uh result in death so non-lethal arena fights the only way to do that is if you have a guild membership so i have to have hybrid monsters if i want to be able to fight in non-lethal fights and make money win or lose um standard uh animals can fight in the catacombs all the time and that's fine um and standard animals do have or standard monsters do have you know their worth but right now if i do this it's going to set me back another five turns or so um 
before I'm able to actually get uh, hybrids, and that's not something I want to do. So instead, we're going to do a wolf water rat hybrid, and we're going to go ahead and just breed it. It's going to take one turn for them to uh, do the deed, and then we're going to have our water rat, uh, you know, thing. I'm just going to call this a water wolf rat. And that will be the name of this hybrid. And we're just going to go ahead and wait. Um, we are hemorrhaging money now. But we now have new baby creatures. You can buy meat from so we rats. have water wolf rats. This, this one is infertile. So this one is definitely a uh, kill. Uh, it, it's a kill option. So we'll be able to uh, easily turn it around to be fine. This one is also infertile. So this one is also a kill. And I'm just labeling them as this. Uh, this one says fast metabolism, so this one is breedable, but it's not great. And then this one has pack attack, which is actually good. Single offspring is not good, um, but fast metabolism, eh, it's whatever. So anything that's dark, is this black, I guess? So anything that's like this dark papyrus brown or whatever, um, text font is a good uh, ability. Um, anything that is red is a bad ability. Um, honestly, all of these water wolf rats are not good. Um, and I don't want to name them anything that uh, is going to, you know, uh, grow, grow attached to them. Because you, the thing is, in uh, the monster breeders, you go through these monsters very quickly. We could try to sell some of these for a little bit of profit, right? We could sell one for 124, a uh, couple of them for 124 and whatnot. But the problem is, is that selling these for 124, yeah, sure, it's going to make me a little bit of money but I'm not going to have access to another crossbreed potion, right? Especially because I'm not an alchemist right now. So we're gonna be hemorrhaging money for like three turns. Increase the food and it's gonna take three turns for these guys to get fully grown. Um, how many turns is it gonna take for you ready to, ooh, that's gonna suck. Okay, that's fine. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to send our wolf into the catacombs and hopefully it wins. Nope. Did not win. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to dissect it. And we're going to unlock our combat surgery for mammals, which is very, very important. Combat surgery for mammals, uh, since we're based off of mammals right now, is going to be so huge. We're going to be able to utilize this for us to a, uh, essentially bring dying monsters back to life um, whenever we fail in the arena. That did lower our upkeep cost quite a bit, so it's going to save us... Um, quite a bit um, going into the next uh, few turns and we'll be able to actually survive, right? Um, and now we kind of just play the waiting game. We're going to wait a couple more. Um, we could go ahead and start looking into other things, but now that we have our monsters grown up, we are now part of the guild. What we are going to do is we are going to look for the highest paying on loot, on loss uh, thing that we can find. So these are all, this is 620, 610, 620, 640. However, um, I do think Helgram needs to have um, a little bit of experience as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to auto combat this and everyone's going to get defeated. However, we got paid 610. And on top of that, we're now a member of the guild and Helgram got experience, uh, combat experience here. So we got 69 experience, <laughs> nice. Um, as well as our monsters here. And they're going to slowly start leveling up as well which is kind of the entire point right now. We're going to hold off on doing anything else. We finished our, uh, our research. Um, we will do organ removal. Organ removal is another really big one that's going to help us out quite a bit. Um, we have foreign traders selling slaves as well as a bunch of really nice gear. I'm not gonna buy any of the gear because we can't really afford it. And now it is time for us to go. We have four of these guys and we have to breed our spiny rat and our water rat uh it's going to take three turns but that's okay um how much money are we bleeding through oh my god what whoa who's taking this much upkeep oh all of these rats are because none of them are actually full herbivore they're all super expensive that's rough that's really rough actually um so now we need to find a uh, something that's going to pay out a decent amount of money. Ooh, a rune bow of shock. That's pretty nice. Um, we can also get uh, item drops for completing this. Like if we beat this one, then we get a fine steel sword of frost. 
Um, if we win, we get 3,800 uh, gold. If we lose, we get 1,940. However, if we, um, what is this? It's all four. And if we send them all in here, it's going to be basically game over if we lose. Um, because we'll have to find a way to get um, more crossbred uh, units very quickly. So we're going to hold off on that until I can secure another mammal. And I'm not seeing any other mammals right now. So we have to stick to the non-lethal ones uh, for the time being. So let's go ahead and do mandibles and claws. That's 750 payout, so we're going to have to do that. And hopefully we win. If we win, that'd be awesome. But if we don't, then... Oh, we won. Look at that. We got a couple of level ups there. And we got 1,500 gold. Um, and now we have one reputation. We have to get to, I believe, 50 reputation. And we'll be able to fight in two tournaments at once. Or two different tournaments in a day. Um, and once you get to 75 reputation, you can fight in three tournaments a day. It's actually really nice. Um, it gives you a more... Uh, you know, stable source of income. Um, but you have to have tamed uh, monsters in order for you to fight in some of these fights, right? Um, and that's what that little skull is. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start boosting up their combat abilities. Um, we already have a there couple of monsters no. breeding, and we will end our turn. We're going to go in here. We're going to do the exact same thing. This one pays out 930. Uh, versus 1860. This one gives an elite steel mace of fire. This one gives an elite steel, uh, elite ice staff. We'll do the ice staff one because we can hire a wizard at some point. And we'll probably not win, but it's okay. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and get these guys as set up as we can uh, when it comes down to combat abilities. Um, and we are going to hope that we can start finding some more. Uh, mammals in the hunter area and we can uh hire or not hire but like buy a couple uh low level mammals right um while we're waiting for everything to level up here um looks like we get standard equipment for this one um well they do and we're gonna go for very likely defeat that's rough but that's okay we're not getting very much money, um, but I don't think we're actually losing money. Yeah, we are. We're losing money every turn right now. Unless we win, we're losing. Like we we made six fifty last month on top of revenue from having a town. Uh, so it's, we we made eight fifty, but we're spending eight twenty two. And until these there guys pop good. out some babies that we can you know then sell, um, we're gonna have some issues. So, yeah. And we need to hold on to some of these so we're able to actually, you know, make more crossbreeds, which is the other uh, problem, right? Um, I would love to get a hold of a panther or a black bear, but we realistically can't afford it. And honestly, we need a crossbreed potion. We don't have an alchemist to make them, so we have to wait for the, uh, the guilds fair in May. So we have to go two more months here, and we have to make sure that we have enough money to buy more crossbreed potions. Um, so what we're going to do we is we're going to ooh, look at all these spiny water rats. Uh, this one's worth a decent amount. This one's worth a decent amount. We're going to sell all of them, every single one, uh, because we don't really need them. And now that we have, you know, kind of just boosted our income a little bit there, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fight in another non-lethal combat. This one pays out 1330. This one pays out 1490. We're going to do the 1490. And we're going to send in Heldrum on one of these two so he can get a little bit more experience, right? And he did level up from that. So Heldrum is our main character, right? So we want to make sure that he's getting beefed up and he is ready to roll. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Quick Strike. And now that he has the ability, we'll get quick. Uh, we're going to start getting into uh, making regular attacks better, and then we're going to increase our uh, defensive skills. And then after defensive skills, we're going to boost up counter attack and health, and I think we'll be set. Um, but let's go ahead and end our turn here. We have new stock here with a male spiny rat. That's not going to help us at all because we're looking for. Uh, other animals that we can crossbreed, right? 
Um, now, technically, the male spiny rat would work if we bred it with uh, one of these because it's technically not related and it's still a hybrid. Um, but it's kind of kind of a wash in my opinion. Um, 1530, 1520, let's do this one and hopefully we get a win on here but if we don't we don't um i do know that we need a little bit more income but we're okay that's 970 so we actually came out on top from this past month and i know that our monsters are slowly leveling up right now so getting these monsters to a higher level is going to help us out quite a bit um because now they're going to be able to actually you know start surviving a little bit more the only thing that's kind of a, a sketch right here is the damage capacity so we need to start utilizing Helgrim as much as we can in these fights because you don't want that damage capacity um, I'm going to rename all of them to kill to different numbered kills that way I can differentiate uh, between them uh, for when we're a uh, you know trying to handle this so we have 53 out of 160 here we have 89 for kill two kill three is at 76 and kill four is at 199 so kill four has 334 max 160 max on kill one um 187 max on kill two and 173 max so kill four is the one that needs to fight the most because it has the most damage capacity before it starts taking damn like actually getting you know uh messed up a little bit here um, did we get what I needed here? No, we got a male spiny rat. That's not Monster what I want. Guild Fair. But now we have the fair. We have 1350, 3900, uh, 3980 actually. We have 15. Let's do the 15 and hopefully we win. We're going to send in Helgrim as well. I think kill three and two would be okay. I think kill one's the lowest. We won. Okay, that's really nice. Um, we completed our research, so now that we have organ removal one, we are going to skip organ implant because I've yet to implant organs. I feel like it's kind of a waste, um, but it may be worthwhile later on. Um, what we're going to do is health recovery bonus, and then let's go ahead and kill four. Yep, you're still good. And did Helgrim level up? Helgrim did not level up. But now we have to go to the Guild Spare because this is where this is where we buy our potions and whatnot for the time being. Uh, we have four thousand gold, and we are going to buy two crossbreed potions, which should give us enough uh, units to where we'll be able to uh, handle uh, going in. Uh, we should be able to survive until next year, right? kind of my thought process here and then we're eventually going to want to get a hold of a uh, an alchemist so we can start brewing our own eventually but right now it's not going to be a thing like we can't realistically handle it or anything like that um let me see here um any no we still have the spiny rat okay so we don't have anything new um we could get rid of our one our, our water rat maybe right we don't want to do inbreeding like inbreeding is not going to help us um so what we may do is just do the spiny rat and the water rat again uh as soon as we can and call that um we're gonna go ahead and do what does this one do? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 1550, 1540. Um, yeah, this is the only one that we can... Yeah, we'll do this one. Um, I don't think we're going to win this, but we should be okay. And our goal here is that if we win one of these, then we pocket a ton of money. But I think every time you win, you don't take uh, damage capacity. I think every time you win, you're fine. Every time you lose, you you lose uh, durability on your monsters. No, because if they routinely get defeated uh, in non-lethal combat, they'll start getting crippled, and then you can't fight them. So our goal is for us to get there and get everyone balanced out before that happens, and then we can eventually sell them. So 
kill four, kill one, like they're all worth good money right now, right? But we need a, uh, we, we, we're we going to want to breed them with, honestly, wait, they all bred with the water rat and a wolf, right? Yeah, okay, so they all, so I can breed, uh, kill three, no, kill four, actually, kill four has the highest damage capacity. Oh, it's infertile, never mind. Oh, man, they're all infertile, that's right. Man, that sucks, okay, so we, we need to get a, uh, we, we can't, we need to get stuff here. And that spiny rat ain't gonna help me. Okay. That's unfortunate. Ooh, a new stock. New stock. New stock. Juvenile wolf or juvenile hellhound? Hellhound or wolf? Uh, we're doing a hellhound. We'll do a hellhound. Hellhound sounds fun. Um, hellhound's more expensive. Wolf is slightly less expensive. Yeah, we'll do a wolf. We're doing a wolf. We're gonna have spiny rat wolves. And we are going to, I've got enough in me. <coughs> I've got enough in me for us to do one more of these before someone gets a, a crippled, I think. And it would be kill one that would get crippled, right? Kill four did get a level up, which is nice. And kill four is going to be our highest, uh, durability one still at 139 kill one is at 17 really low 42 here we're at six on kill three actually so what we're going to do is we're going to sell kill three we're going to sell kill three and we're going to sell we're going to hold on to kill one and hopefully we don't lose kill one right away but we need to sell kill three because kill three is 100 going to die soon um and that went ahead and that basically knocked off their upkeep um, for the next round. So we're actually going to be uh, making money again uh, a little bit here. Increase the food amount and we have this wolf here that we're going to use for uh, breeding, uh, right? So we're going to go ahead and just, you know, end our turn. We have the herbs market. It's not really a point for us right now. Um, and we're going to do open game. And we're going to send in Helgram as well as kill four and kill two. Oh, man, we have to send and kill one. That's unfortunate. We lost, and kill one did get crippled. Okay. Well, now that kill one is crippled, we're going to go ahead and remove its you organ. An organ in your and now we're going to go ahead and just sell the organ. Sell it right away for 32. Uh, you can't sell a crippled animal uh, or a crippled monster. It's not going to do anything for you. So now we are officially uh, in a little bit of a pickle because we only have two fightable monsters uh, for the actual tournaments. And we've got a few more turns before we're going to have new ones. So hopefully we'll be able to handle stuff. Oh, okay. We have range of combat, so we'll be able to send in Helgrim as well as kill four. And we're okay for the time being. Helgrim did get a level up. We're going to go ahead and start pumping up his... a. Uh, attack and Helgram um, will actually become very very strong once he starts getting uh, gear he just has not gotten a bunch of gear yet because um, we haven't won any uh, gear based tournaments at least I don't think we have no we haven't um, kill four did get another level up here uh, we're going to go ahead and start pumping up counter attacks for kill four and then kill two and kill four are both getting kind of low, but we're okay for another turn. Let's see if there's another one that we can do. We have open game here, and it's going to be for three. We're going to send in Helgram as well as kill four and two. Lost again, but we did get some level ups here. I think kill two is getting really low. Yep, the four damage capacity. That's really bad. Kill four is still okay for the time being. Kill two, you're basically out for the count. I don't know how to increase damage capacity, unfortunately. So basically right now, I'm kind of just, you know, stuck with what we've got up here. Um, and I haven't quite figured out how to fix it. Um, I don't think, like, just waiting doesn't seem to work either. So I'm not sure if there's uh, something we can do to fix it or anything like that. It's just kind of like a whatever thing kill two we can go ahead and probably sell uh right now actually um yeah i think we will i think we're gonna sell kill two it's infertile anyway uh, it, yeah we're getting ready to kill two we're gonna hold on to kill four for a little bit longer here 
and we have our female wolf that will be uh, starting to get bred uh, next turn. So we should be okay. We did complete some research. Let's go ahead and uh, get our health, our health recovery bonus two going here. And we're gonna go ahead and breed our spiny rat and our wolf to make a spiny wolf rat. And now we're going to have ourselves a spiny wolf rat breed, and then we'll do it again. Uh, we will not do it again coming up, actually. We have five turns until these two grow old. We are going to breed the spiny rat with the water rat, and then we're going to a uh, breed one of them with the wolf afterwards. But that's how this is going to work. Frozen beast. We might be able to do that. I, I believe in you, kill. Kill four. No. How you doing on... Ooh, 47. You got probably one more in you. Okay. And now, so our spiny rat and our water rat are both getting old. We have four turns until they grow old. We cannot uh, really afford for them to grow old, right? So we have three turns until they produce uh, offspring. I could speed that up, but it's not going to actually give me a, a hybrid, so we're going to do that. Rats do not recover. I mean, rats do not recover. R rats do not require a pregnancy turn, so we're going to get a whole slew of rats here, and then we're basically just going to be like, yep, okay, cool. Um, and hopefully we're able to su uh, survive on what little money we have for the next couple of turns here because we're not really gonna be in a position to where we can uh, fight in these. Like range of combat is going to require the, uh, Helgram. And if Helgram, if we lose that, then that's game over because that's a lethal combat. So we're gonna hold off on that. Uh, we have a few spiny wolf rats here. We have spiny skin and hemophilia. We have a pack attack, fast aging, light hemophilia. We have pack attack, oh, this one's good. This one's breed, we're, we're, we're breeding that one. Um, and then we have Pack Attack Spiny Skin. This one's even better. This one is Breed with uh, all, all of that. So we're, we're going to name her uh, Spunky. So Spunky is now going to be that. Uh, Breed, you are going to be... Uh, yeah, we're just going to kill you off. We're going to rename you Kill 1, and then we're going to have Kill 2. And then Kill 3. That's 2. We're going to do kill three. And then we're going to end up breeding Spunky with whatever rats we get. So our goal here is for our water, our spiny water rats that we're about to get um, to breed. And we're hoping that we get a male that has good, uh, good uh, uh, traits that we can then breed with Spunky here and uh, utilize, right? Now we have some extra meat, so I'm actually going to go ahead and a uh, give Spunky some of this meat, and it's just going to give them an attack bonus against carnivores uh, or mammals, essentially carnivora uh, is what they're called, and that's n that's kind of just flavor, to be honest. It's not really anything, and we're just going to go ahead and enter turn. There will be a um, we have how many more turns? One more turn until uh, these two breed, and then as soon as they're bred, they're going to be sold. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we can't do anything for one more turn, so now we uh, do that, and now we have new baby creatures. We're going to take a look at these. Can produce we have spiny water rat. We have a spiny water rat, and another spiny water rat, and yeah. This one's got spiny skin, and this one's good. So this one, we're going to breed with Spunky. So we're going to breed this one with Spunky, and the rest of them, we're going to sell. Increase. We're selling the rest of them because we don't have very much money for upkeep, right? We, we, we don't have a ton of money. So we're going to name this one Spunky Mate, and this one Spunky, and we're going to breed these two. And the rest of them, we're going to uh, kill one, two, and three are going to be used for fighting. And the good news is, is you can breed crippled monsters. You cannot fight crippled monsters, but you can breed them. Um, and now, spiny rat and water rat have been used and abused, and now they're gone. We don't need them anymore. We're selling them, we're getting rid of them, and now our upkeep should have gone down quite a bit. Cool, we're no longer completely hemorrhaging money. 
We are not doing good, but we're not doing bad, per se. Quest missed, new stock, monsters have grown up. All right, we're gonna take a look. We have kill three and uh, kill four now. Um, so we're almost in a position where we'll be set. Now we have 220 damage capacity, which is not bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, and now we're in a position where we should be pretty much set. So kill uh, three, kill two has 227. Kill one has 278, and Spunky has 345. Oh my god, dude. 345, that's insane. And then all of these are tamed. So they're going to be able to be fought in everything. So now that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to find something. This one here gives us a concentrated frost extract. This one here gives us an elite rune bow of shock. Uh, 940 on a loss, 7, 7, hey, yeah, we're doing this one. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and send in kill two, kill one, Helgrim, because why not? And then we are going to send in kill three, and I think kill four can handle one more. We lost. That's okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at kill four. Kill four has 24 damage capacity left. That might be one more. That might be one more. It might be worth selling her right now. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look at kill three. Kill three is much cheaper. Kill two is also really cheap. Um, kill one is 74 upkeep and our wolf is the most expensive. So kill four is super expensive on monster upkeep. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to just sell her. We're going to sell her. I'm not going to worry about it and call it a day. So now we have spunky kill one, two, and three, um, all of which have fairly low upkeep. We should not be in a position where we're in trouble anymore. Actually making money. We should actually be in the green here, which is what we're showing. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to manage this for a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and actually sell this wolf now that I think about it. So now we're really going to be in the green because that a uh, that wolf was a huge uh, part of our upkeep, right? So we have one more turn on Spunky's mate growing up, and then we're going to breed Spunky with Spunky's mate. And I think we'll be set. Um, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Now we're going to go ahead and do the open game once more. We're going to send in Helgram. We're going to send in Spunky this time because I think Spunky will be pretty good. We're going to send in kill one and two. We got a level and that's okay. And now let's go ahead and get some of these guys leveled up. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a different build on them and just input points into hit points right here. So hopefully that helps out a little bit on the, uh, the res auto resolve. And the reason why I'm auto resolving these fights is because I'm not really wanting to slog through some of these fights, especially with how a uh, combat feels uh, in this game. It feels kind of uh, hit or miss right now. So the only time I'll be fighting is if I have to go into like dens and whatnot and steal eggs, which we will end up doing at some point. <coughs> But I'm hoping at that point we have a uh, some slaves that we'll be able to utilize instead of us risking um, our main units in there. And now let's go ahead and breed Spunky Mate with Spunky. Give them a crossbreed potion. And uh, this is going to be um, the Spunk. And the Spunk. That's going to be the name of that crossbreed. And we'll end our turn successful reproduction and now spunky is pregnant for a turn because spunky is not a rat it's a wolf rat um and then spunky mate is a full rat um but yeah we should be good and we're going to need to get some more money here 730 750 uh this one gives a flaming gauntlet yeah we're gonna do this one um, now, so some people may be wondering why there are some of these that offer a ton of money if you lose. Well, it's because they are lethal and lethal ones uh, pay out a ton. They pay out a ton of money, especially if you win. But if you lose, you're not, you know, completely SOL. You get a decent amount of uh, money for it, right? Um, main reason why we're not doing lethals right now is because we don't have a solid uh, source of reproduction potions yet. Um, we're just now getting to the point where we're, you know, not completely screwed here. Um, we are going to start buying some of this stuff, though. Ooh, I don't know if I can afford all that, though. Mm -mm -mm. 
I really want to get a good a uh, apothecary set up, right? Because that'll help out a ton in us being able to, you know, get a uh, an alchemist uh, an alchemist set up that can actually. Um, dude, this guy has oh, so this one here is locked. What are you locked behind? I don't know why he's got a little red thing there, but a uh, yeah. So basically, our next major uh, goal to becoming self-sufficient at this point is going to be for us to acquire um, an alchemist that can readily make crossbreed potions. And once we get to the point where we're able to uh, make crossbreed potions, something fierce, then we'll be fine. We will be in much better shape and it, the game will be a lot more manageable. We are on the right path right now, I can tell you that much. Um, we are not in a comfortable enough position for us to start like making major adjustments to the base or anything but we are getting into a better spot. Um, once we break this 10K threshold, we'll be uh, pretty much set. Um, I know the next uh, the next day affair is in May, so we've got to, you know, be set up for, uh, oh no, Despunk 1 is untamable, so he's a kill. He's a you kill. Okay, Despunk 2 is spiny, but fast aging. That's okay. That's okay. So he's still kill. And these little things here is Abomination. So they have Abomination Sickness. I don't know how much, um, but I do know that they, they, he has it, right? Obviously he has it. Like, that's what this, these little red patches are. It's an Abomination. Um, Despunk 3 is untamable as well. So this is a you kill 2. And Despunk 4 is fast aging, metabolism, infertile which is also unfortunate but that's okay so now we have four more two of which are unkillable which means we're going to have to send them into the lethal fights um and that's kind of how that's going to work um so for the time being let's go ahead and just see nope we don't have any more mammals here and i mean we don't have crossbreed potions anyway so i'm not sure why i'm looking but i still wanted to look and what we'll end up doing whenever we get let me double check here for kill three is at 126 kill two is at 146 spunky is at 326 wow kill one is at 217 so we have a lot of uh losses that we can take before we actually get to the point where we need to you know sacrifice these uh guys and that's kind of what we're going to do is we're going to send them in as much as we can and we are going to try and get as many rewards and as much money as we possibly can out of them uh, man I really want to do this for an elite steel grieve of fire but I also know that there's a better tier beyond uh, that so we're going to go ahead and do this one instead because this one pays out more nope still lost but we're getting more uh, XP so now we're going to get Helgrim up to the point where he's actually able to start attacking a lot quicker without burning a bunch of action points. And we're going to get our units, our monsters here up a little bit tankier as well. Um, wow, Spunky, you're just now leveling up, huh? Okay, so Spunky's at 300 out of 345. Kill 1, 171. Kill 2, 100. And then kill 3 is at 70. Okay, I think we'll be okay for uh, a little bit longer. Um, so kill threes at 70. We have... We'll do this one. We'll send in Helgrim as well. Kill three, two, and we're going to send in kill six as well as kill one. We're going to hold Spunky out. We won that one. There we go. That gave us an extra turn, and it gave us a ton more money. Um, we're going to go ahead and bump up kill two's abilities real quick. So this is something else we need to manage, right? Um, we, we have to have the untamables inside an actual enclosure. We can keep tamed monsters outside, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to move Spunky Mate out here, and we're just going to wait because we're going to get another untamable uh, coming in very soon. And then we'll be uh, having a little bit different types of issues, right? Um, so take a quick look see here kill three at 49 and then we've got 82 and then we've got 156 and this one's completely full at 156 um, and then we got kill six here at 190 
Um, so yeah. It looks like you do still take a little bit of damage when you win. You just take much less damage than, you know, what you would if you lost. So we're going to send in kill three, kill two. We're going to send in kill one as well as kill five. No, we're going to send in Spunky. Spunky can tank quite a bit. Okay, kill three. You are now at 18, so you are now... Uh, La you, you are now uh, at your last. So I could sell you for 200 or 308. 308 is pretty good. And I'm not going to lie. Um, but I do have some untamables I need to get rid of as well. So that's going to be our next uh, bet, right? Let's get rid of some of these untamables. Um, because the untamables, I mean, they're untamable. There's nothing I can do with them besides, you know, just make sure that they don't run around the countryside murdering everybody. Um, I don't think I have any other cross free potions. I do not. Um, so we're going to hold off on stuff. And now we are going to go in and let's see here. We have an elite steel rune sword of frost. We have a concentrated brew of uh, that. We have an elite ice staff. You know, what? let's do this one. Um, instead of last kill, we're going to send in kill two. We're going to kill one as well as spunky and kill six kill five we have to send the last kill don't we yeah we do i can't do that one then um we will send in this one instead and we'll send in kill two one six and five and we won that's nice um let's take a look at our monsters real quick kill two is getting low at 34 this one's at 18 kill two can handle one more um fight and then he's basically done and then we will be sending him off to do the uh, unkill, uh, the lethal combat. So we have one more non-lethal combat in us, and then we're going to kill off some of our units here. Um, it's getting into February, so that's pretty useful. Uh, we have 820 here. We have 810. Let's go ahead and just do the 820. Um, we're going to send in kill two, kill one, spunky, and then six and five. And now kill two should be very low. Yep, he's at five. Kill one is at 76, which is okay. Spunky is at 246. So Spunky is going to be around for a while. And we can always breed Spunky some more. And then we got kill six and kill five that are still very much healthy for the most part. And we're going to make sure that we're uh, over-utilizing them quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah. And... We were in February, which was the arms uh, fair, but now we're in March. We need to get to May. May is going to be the important one. Um, I think it's time for us to fight in the lethal combat, and we're going to send in Blood Rage. Let's see here. We have last kill. We have kill two, and then we have you kill, you kill. Uh, so we'd have two more that would have to die for that. I'm not... I'm not for that yet. I don't want all of my units to be like completely messed out. Uh, but that does pay 3,000. 3,000 is really good. 6,000 if we win. Um, I guess as long as I don't send in Spunky, we'll be okay because I can breed with Spunky's mate coming up. But I know that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would basically only have two units left. Um, we can do that. That's fine. Um, kill two and then we'll send in kill one as well as kill six and hopefully we win we won that's awesome and we lost uh untamable kill one and untamable kill two kill two and uh, last kill are both crippled but we just made six grand as well as a fire staff so that's huge absolutely huge let's go to the druids market um and because it's so big we might actually uh, i really want to hire i really want to buy like a bear or something to give us a little bit more tanking potential, right? Um, so last kill, you are now dead, or basically dead. I can't do anything for you. Um, I can, however, uh, remove your organ, you have as well as kill two. I'm sorry, you're you're both losing your you organs. Have an organ. And you now have an we're gonna go and sell these organs. We have a spiny organ, and we have a brain lobe. And we're going to sell both of them for a little bit of money. Okay, now we have you kill two which we are going to perform life-saving surgery on that way we can you know keep him around for a little bit longer um we have kill one who got to level up and is you know living their best life um and then we have kill six who got to level up and is living their best life um but 
we're having some issues now, so we're going to move Spunky and Spunky's mate up here. We have two more rounds until we hit a uh, the next big a uh, breeding frenzy thing, and or wherever we can get uh, crossbreeding potions. And we are in a much better spot money-wise. So I think it's time for us to go ahead and we are going to build a... Um, we are going to build an alchemist's shack. I think that's what we're going to start doing. We're going to build the alchemist's shack. And we're going to start getting set up for us to actually have um, an alchemist. That's kind of our... Uh, our, our goal now is for us to get to that point we'll go ahead and start grabbing organ removal three um and we are going to go fight in venom world so we have our open combat here we're going to send in helgram as well as the rest of our units and we lost but that's okay because we still got paid we get paid to lose here which is fine uh, that's the best time to get paid is when you're, you know, as long as you're getting paid, it's kind of okay. Um, so now we have seven turns till the alchemist shacks up and ready. Um, let's go ahead and start slowly buying things that we'll be able to utilize that are cheap. So we'll, we're going to buy basically all the rye weed. Rye weed, uh, right now, it's not useful for us, but it will be useful for us later on. And I want to buy the cheapest ingredients that we have, right? So 49, that's that's really, really cheap. And that's kind of what our, our goal is here, is we want to be in a position to where we can afford we, we can afford to buy super cheap ingredients, and then we'll be able to level up whatever alchemist we get once we hire, uh, once we have our alchemist Monster building set up. Guild Fair. By and now it is the guild fair. And now it is time for us to buy... Um, crossbreed potions so we're going to buy the cheaper ones because we need to be cheap right now um you know what? we're gonna buy the four uh all of them just because having four is better than not having four um there are potentially more uh monsters that we could get but right now i think i just want to breed spunky and spunky's mate um and let's see here just just for funsies is there a male? That is a male snow bear. Oh, but he's so expensive. Oh, my Lanta. A hellhound snow bear. Oh, dude, that sounds so cool. I'm not spending five grand on it, though. I can't afford five grand. I can't do that. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Um, we're going to the tournament. We are going to fight for 810. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Oh no, we're gonna do the uh, open game because I can send in Helgram. I'm gonna send in our our defeats, our kills that are you know not as a uh, damaged as the other ones. So what we're gonna try and do is get as many of these guys like as low as we can get them. So like kill kill ones basically at last kill now. And we're trying to get all of the last kills and untamables to go at the same time, right? That way we can just send them all in. Um, but we do have this untamable kill right here, which we could sell for 236, which is pretty good. We could also sell uh, last kill for like 274. Um, honestly, I think selling them may be a good idea. But I could also get this cavalry shield, which will help boost up a, a Helgrim's uh, combat efficiency quite a bit. We're at a okay spot right now. I'm going to trade in last kill for a uh, combat shield for that cavalry shield. We're going to take that. We have two ice staffs as well. We're going to sell the fire staff. Oh, yeah, we have two staves. We're going to sell the fire staff. Um, and we got these staves from a uh, doing tournaments. Okay. So these, these tournaments are what a, uh, are getting us these a... Uh, yeah, this equipment that we're going to slowly start kidding people out with. And then we're going to start buying slaves. Um, and unfortunately, I there there are no slaves that we can, you know, instantly hire for being a good a, uh, alchemist or anything like that. That's not how this works. So we will just have to deal with what we can do. Um, 
but yeah i think we're in a good spot right here um we've got something being built we've got something being researched we don't have any juveniles but uh, we need to breed spunky and spunky's mate um and we're gonna spend one yep and now we're good we uh can do this tournament real quick we're gonna go ahead and send in helgram now that he's got his little kite shield i want to send in spunky as well as kill six and hopefully we win we do win now spunky did get seriously injured on that but spunky will be okay they just can't participate in combat for a turn or two but it'll be fine spunky is pregnant so i probably shouldn't have sent her in there man eh, it's fine kill six is at 35 you got one more uh combat in you um so you're at last kill five you've got plenty uh you's got tons spunky's got quite a bit uh spunky's mates kind of you know just chilling here uh, he, he's pretty cheap to upkeep and i'm not too worried about him um and we're just gonna go ahead and end our turn new baby creatures we have two new uh hell spawn here <laughs> We have fragile bones and fertile light hemophobia. Uh, hemophilia, my bad. That's hemophobia. Uh, so we have kill one and fragile bones. And fa uh, man, I really hope not all of them have uh, fragile bones. That's really sucky. Uh, the good news is, is that a lot of man, they all, almost all of them have that. That's really rough. Fragile bones is not good uh, because now I can get crippled uh my units can become crippled very very easily that's what fragile bones will do um we're gonna buy all that because that's pretty cheap we're gonna buy all the rye weed uh 4.7 is pretty good 3.8 is pretty good um so yeah we'll do we'll do all of those um and let's do this one a flaming gauntlet let's do the open combat so we can keep abusing helgram and hold off on oh man i really have to send last in there don't i oh last is healthy okay that's fine i think we won that one that's pretty nice uh i think last is really on his last now yep yeah, 10 yeah that's it that's it for you buddy opal a friend of mine and we're gonna end our turn there. Now we have the herbs market, which is awesome for people who need to stock up on stuff for potions and lotions of the salts. Um, we're going to buy all the super cheap ones and there's like always a ton of it too. So we're gonna end up spending a decent chunk of change here. And it kind of sucks, but we're gonna be buying everything that's like a sub three for cost. Right, and then we had to buy crossbreeding potion stuff. Um, this one here is 3.8. I'll take that. So I, I lied. I guess everything that's sub four, uh, we'll pick up. We have a bunch of 4.1s here. There's a 3.9 right there. We'll grab that. There's some twos. There's some 2.1s. We're gonna pick all that up. Looking forward to the guide series on this, Sean. I'm gonna teach you as much as I can, even in live streams, buddy. So what we're doing here is we're slowly stockpiling up for us to utilize an alchemist. Now, blacksmiths, I really want to like blacksmiths. I do. But the thing is, is once you have the weapon, you've got the weapon. Um, yeah, sure, there's a condition percentage on it. But this guy's been fighting with this sword since we started. And it's at 100% condition. I'm not sure. It's got 48 durability. I don't think durability and everything like that actually matters right now. I really don't. So we're kind of, you know, just sitting here fat and happy, just waiting, waiting, you know. Um, let's see here. We got new stock. We got a male spiny rat. Okay. Well, we already have, you have nine turns until you grow old. You have five turns. Okay. Okay. You've got one more breed in you, and then we'll be getting rid of you, which is fine. Um, to make which means I do need to buy this. Okay. And I think we already fought. No, we did not fight. We have not fought yet. Not fought. Helgrim, sending it. Spunky, sending it. Kill five, sending it. Helgrim got a nice level up there. It's really, really helpful for us. Um, it looks like there's a water rat nest nearby, but we're not going to go for it. And 
The reason we're not going for the water rat nest is honestly because nests are hard. Nests are super hard. They should not be as hard as what they are. Honestly, they really should. <coughs> but we can probably attempt it with Spunky. And I don't know if we can handle it with like last. We could probably do it with kill five. How much time do we have on this water Your right now? Is Three turns? Armor. Okay. That's fine. Your character is we have one turn on the green ant count colony. We'll be okay. Want to know something, uh, Nuck and Fuzz? Yeah, sure. What's up, my man? And then we'll send in kill five. We lost. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Send those guys in. How much time do we have? We have one turn until a couple of these come out. We have a regular spiny rat. We have two turns until that. How are we doing on this? We have four turns, and then how many turns you got? You got eight turns. Okay, that, that's fine. We, we, we can do we can deal with that. Um, we have new stock here. We're slowly building up our uh, amount of uh, things, right? Um, 2.8, we'll pick up those, and we're gonna only buy that. We have a couple more of our monsters that have leveled up. Last. Last is now old. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. I didn't realize last was old. Oh, no. How about you, Kill 2? Oh, Kill 2, you just leveled up. What about you? You're fine. You're fine. Kill 5? Oh, Kill 5 is going to grow old in one turn, too. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and just sell Kill 5, then. Last, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you were that old. What does old do? Oh, you can still fight. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and do... How many do I need for this? One, two, three. Oh, that's way, that's way too much. That's way too much. I'm not doing that. Send in Helgram. We're going to send in Spunky. And we're going to send in Last. And last got crippled, which is okay. We're gonna remove his organs. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna take a look at his organ. We're gonna sell it for money. Yeah, because that's how this works. Okay, we have three turns until Spunky's ready to be bred, but uh you're 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 your dad's spunky mate, isn't it? Yeah, we're not in, we're okay. We're I'm I am many things, but I'm not inbreeding. I am not inbreeding these freaking monsters because that's just a whole Your other terrible idea um well in this turn we have our construction is now complete we have a bunch more things come in and we now can buy a warrior instead of a warrior we're gonna hire a sorcerer yes you're a sorcerer and i'm going to pick up both of these workers i'm gonna pick up the cheaper of the workers. Okay. Now, we're also going to double check here, but I think we're okay. We're gonna buy all that, and now we are going to hire an alchemist. Um, He's a poor healer, but he's efficient, and this one is poor with poison, poor healer, and a drunk. Well, we're gonna buy, we're gonna hire this guy. This guy's good. And now we're going to go ahead and apply one of our slaves here to help him out. And we are just going to make as much of this crap as we can to get his ability higher until he can make crossbreed potions. And if you see over here on the right, we have a bunch of ingredients, right? Well, those ingredients are gonna slowly go down as we go through this long list of stuff. Now he is not skilled enough. He only has 10 uh, alchemy skill. So he really can't make too many things. Um, and it requires 25 more alchemist level in order for him to brew uh, healing potions. So he, he, gonna be, he ain't gonna be good for a, a minute there. Um, let's see here. Um, we're going to breed the spiny rat with kill two sounds like a terrible idea and it honestly is but we're doing it because i need 
uh, more hybrids. And these things are, I'm just going to name them an abomination. That, because that's what it's going to be. Uh, and we're going to end up breeding Spunky as soon as Spunky's good. And we could do a construction here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the cave-in. We're going to go ahead and fix the large chamber and the old keep up top. And then a, uh, that will help us out a little bit there. Um, we have the water rat nest, which we honestly kind of need to do this now if we're going to attempt to do it. Um, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about trying it because I have a feeling this is going to bite me in the ass. But I think we can have a massive army as well. So if, we, if I bring in like an entire army with Helgrim, I think we'll be okay. And worst case scenario, we just run. Okay. So every time that you go into a combat like this, this is technically a lethal fight. The good news is, is like, look at all these rats. There's just a ton. And they n actually typically don't have very much health. So, uh, but there's like one, two, three, four. Like there is a ton of baby water rats. And if we get a hold of them, we're basically set. So what we're going to do is we're going to rush in here with a couple of our units. But only the kills, right? I only want to risk the ones that I already know are going to be... Uh, dying soon. Now, Spunky Mate is actually about to be super old. So, we're going to send him in there. And he only has 17 HP. So, he's fine. Spunky uh, itself is like a massive tank and has a ton of HP. Kill 4 is also really tanky. So, we're going to send that one in. And we're just going to end our turn and see what happens. The counterattacks and the spiny skin is going to help us out quite a bit. That's kind of what I'm going for here. And what our goal is, is we want, um, we want uh, to essentially surround enemy units, right? That's kind of how this is going to end up working. And if we move, um, I don't want to do that, right? If I move two, I could technically move. So let's move you right up here and then right there. Then this one, we're going to move to right here. Try to and our spiny skin is going to take care of that. And I'm actually going to move Spunky right over here. Help us out. And now we have Kill 4 who's going to be coming in here. And we are essentially just going to completely spread out here and get into a position where we can juggle aggro. And then Helgrim's got 46 HP. I didn't even realize he had this much health, but he has a ton. So he is like literally the tankiest thing that I've ever seen. And the spiny skin is what's doing a ton of damage for us. So we've got a couple of our animals here that have fled in fear. We've already got one kill on a water rat. Uh, we took out another water rat here. Um, and we have kill one up here that is actually really tattered. And we have kill four that's going to be kind of just backing us up. I'm going to go ahead and use Spunky to do some damage here. I'm going to send in Helgrim as well. Try to get some damage going with our shields and whatnot. So we have kill four with 29 health. We have Spunky Mate at 13. Then we have kill three with 20. Uh, there's only two two water rats up here, and we've got one down here that we'll be slowly beating the crap out of. And the spiky skin is what's going to save us right now, right? So every time we get counterattacked, if it hits, they take damage. And that's kind of our entire uh, thing right now is we want, if we take damage, we want to be able to deal enough to where we're fine. 29 HP, I'm sending this one in because this one's got more HP than what uh, kill one has. And now what we're going to do is we're kind of just going to wait this one out for the counterattacks and the spiky uh, skin to deal damage. And boom, we won. We got eight juvenile rats and no one died. So 
my main uh, breeding style for these monsters is for us to utilize not only high health pools, but to utilize spike skin or anything that will damage the attacker. And that's kind of what our thought pro my thought process is, right? Um, and now, with all of these water rats, we are just we going to just sell a crap ton of them. Like, we're going to bank as much of these as we can. Um, I should probably start, like, accepting armor pieces. That way, we can get Helgrim set up with a little bit better armor. Who knows? Hey, he's got a, he's got a little, uh, he got a little bracelet there. Uh, he got a bracelet or a gauntlet. It doesn't really look like much of a gauntlet to me. It looks like it's, uh, that looks like a bracer, but yeah, look at that. But that's how you, that's how you fight the, 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 the big, the big fights. And the only reason why those water rats weren't that big is because they only had like 17 health max and my units have, well, more than that. Um, and because none of my units got knocked down or killed, um, they didn't really take any damage capacity, so they're all fine which is really, really helpful. Um, and I can't remember, right, we're making an abomination there. Um, we have not fought here yet. Uh, this one gives us a frozen gauntlet. That's pretty solid. Or a frozen gauntlet here. What does this require? Oh, it requires Helgrim. I don't have two humans. I have, oh, oh. I do have two humans. I'll send in Spunky. I'm going to send in a lot of them. I'm going to send them all. Yep, we all lost. That's okay. Because Helgram and a, a Robert... Ro I, I like how his name's Robert the Slave. We, we need to get you a new name, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Sean, what should, I name, uh, what should I name our new sorcerer friend here? Preferably not with Robert... This, uh, preferably not with the title The Slave. Preferably not. Uh, if that is what it is, then it is what it is. But you know what I mean? I'm just like, eh, okay. May maybe not. Um, and we don't really have anything else that we can use here for making stuff. Uh, new stock, new alchemist. Monsters have grown up. Um, yeah, I think we're in a pretty solid spot here. Let's go ahead and beef up Spunky's HP a little bit more. We're going to start beefing up Kill 2's HP as well as uh, our HP here. Dr. Frankenfurter, I like it, we'll do that. Dr. Frankenfurter, we can do that. Dr. Frankenfurter. Just a, uh, you know, a little bit of Rocky Horror Picture Show going on right now, Increase right? The food amount to make your creature of Fragile bones, fast metas metabolism, fast body. aging. Uh, fragile bones sickening. Oh my god, these are all awful. They're they're so bad. They all got fragile bones. It's terrible. Spunky has one more turn, and then Spunky Mate's going to get sold because he's going to be getting old here. Uh, I mean, not really. Yeah, he's going to be. He's going to be getting. We're going to get rid of him. Construction complete, the old which is really helpful want. now that we have the old keep with a large chamber that we can utilize. Um, we should be able to set this up for basically anything. I'm going to hold off on uh, doing anything with it. Honestly, we're going to turn that into like a bedroom. I think a bedroom is probably our best bet um, now that we're starting to get to the point where we're hiring people. Um, we only have 76 in wages because we uh, acquired uh, uh, forced labor. My wife just made us watch it again, kind of sort of Halloween tra uh, traditional. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I, uh, I like watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I watched that... I pretty much every Halloween ish around that time of year. So uh, I can I can relate on that one. Helgrim, Dr. Frankenfurter, or send in Spunky as well as Kill Four. We also lost, but that's okay. Um and now we have no construction. We're slowly making and getting him leveled up on his alchemist skill. He's only at ten still. So um, the reason being, I actually think making a crafter as your main character is super smart. And here, here's the reason as to why making a crafter as your main character is super smart is due to the fact that you can pump up your intelligence. And you can max out intelligence with your, uh, 
with your stat points. And it just gives you an idea of how fast you can develop your skills. So the higher the intelligence of your crafter, the quicker they'll level up. The higher the skill that they have, um, the better the potions that they make. Um, and this is this uh, is applicable to blacksmiths as well. Um, the only problem with blacksmiths is, well, once you have the gear, you don't really lose it, right? So you only really need it once. Um, and, and that's my biggest complaint about blacksmiths is that, like, it's not really worth it when I can go fight in tournaments that are going to give me uh, better stuff, right, than what I can craft. We met at a block party about 13-ish years ago, and I was Rocky. She was a slutty elf. Man, wh 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 why do we, wh why is it always got to be... Uh, why has it always got to be the, the, the them there uh, slutty options, right? Always. Always that. Elite magma chest plate of fire. There we go. Boom. That. That right there is what we need. Send you in. Send, I'm sending in the whole the whole group because if we win, Helgrim just got a massive upgrade. Dang. Oh, Spunky got crippled. I was not expecting Spunky to get crippled. That's unfortunate. It's okay, Spunky. We can still use you for breeding. You may be a cripple, but you're still breedable. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate because she was really helpful uh, in that uh, last fight because she had so much HP. So we're going to have to get, find a way to get uh, more tankier options for whenever we do uh, more nest raids in the future. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look see here do we have anything super cheap no we do not do we have any carnivoras no we do not um i think it's breeding time though i think we do spunky mate and spunky and give them a crossbreed potion and send it uh and now we have the guild fair in may it's february right now we just got new stock we have a Ryo, uh, Ryodoran egg, as well as a hunter bug hatchling. Neither of those things are going to help me right now. Um, and we have an arm spare, but I don't need to buy equipment. Buying equipment's not going to help me. Uh, however, leveling up Dr. Frankenfurter will help me. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a look at his training. Uh, we are going to increase your mana by a ton. All right, sorcery skill, get it up there. Um, we're going to get rid of your magic staff parry. I'm going to... I could up your magic staff a little bit here. Um, but we're going to kind of just go with this. And this is magic resistance. I'm not too worried about your magic resistance because it's not actually going to help me. Nope. Not really. Um, and now, let's go ahead and we're going to sell all of our poisons that we're making here. Because they're not really... They're not really useful. We're just holding on to them. <coughs> And what you're able to do with poisons is you can, like, coat your weapons with them and deal some extra damage. But that's not going to help me right now. So we're going to hold off on that. Now, getting a monster kennel up and running will probably be pretty helpful. But I also worry about increasing any of the uh, building too many commodities. Because if I build too many, my property upkeep goes up. And that's going to make things much harder for me to actually be able to, you know not lose a ton of stuff on, right? Um, we have an open game here. Let's do that. We're going to send in Helgram and uh, Dr. Frankenfurter. So the other thing is, is every time we're able to buy a new slave that's a combatant, um, we'll slowly get, wow, kill one and kill four. Both became crippled. That's awful. Um, and I can't sell them either, right? Because they're like, well, why would I buy a crippled unit? Uh, the monster's got to be healthy, uninjured, and not old. So uh, healthy means not crippled. And the reason why that kill four and kill one both became crippled, even though that they have high damage capacity, is due to fragile bones. So it's very, very unfortunate. However, we have to go ahead and just get rid of them. I'm going to utilize the organ removal just because um, we could actually we implant here. these organs into other animals um, if we wanted to. Uh, 
I am not too uh, keen on doing that right now. I'm not going to lie. And the reason being is, yeah. So Spunky's mate is about to get old. Let's go ahead and just you sell him because I don't want to deal with him. And now we kind of just wait and try to find some new uh, creatures to get a hold of that we can use for crossbreeding because we're going to be getting some more crossbreeding potions very shortly here in a couple of months. And we've still got one more to burn away. We have some runaway slaves as well. <coughs> so the runaway slaves is kind of fun. Okay. And I really should have seen, I wish I saw that before, uh, we got our units crippled because kill uh sending all of our units in and before i sold them and crippled them and whatnot because we can get extra slaves as workforce by taking care of runaway slaves we're gonna hold off on it though um and now we're gonna go to the druid market we have a female water rat a black varanus and a northern hunt bug hunter bug black black varanuses are actually really cool because they have their regenerate ability, so they regain health points at the beginning of every turn, and they make beautiful tanks if you're able to breed them with another uh, reptile and get like a super beefy uh, reptile with regenerate. Um, I just know that I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. I don't have enough funds to even like support one, uh, so we're gonna hold off on that unfortunately you increase the and now we have light hemophilia this one's not bad okay okay we're not terrible this one sucks with uh fragile bones this one here is okay but not good and this one here is okay but not good but none of them are super great light hemophilia is not terrible um but it's just not good but this one here is like biteable. So this one, this one's, uh, this one's okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna name you Spine and you're going to be our new, uh, our new breed one. And are you, is Spine your child? No, Spine is not their child. Uh, and we have a bunch of abominations here which are all just terrible, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're not going to do that one. 1100's not bad. Monsters versus humans isn't terrible either. Uh, 56, 80, 40, yeah, we might want to do monsters uh, versus humans. And we could send in basically our entire abomination cast here. Um, Yeah, I think we're going to do that because all the abominations have fragile bones, so it doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh, and we're going to send in you kill too. And they all lost, which is unfortunate, but we did get paid 2800 for that. Um, and we can actually rescue this one uh, by performing surgery on it. So now we have uh, three that are fightable still. We have kill three, abomination four, and kill two. Um, kill two, abomination four, and uh, kill three are all like two. A uh, kill two and abomination four both have a uh, fragile bones, which is awful, by the way. But a, uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and wait. New quest available. Uh, I'm not doing that one. New stock. Let's go ahead and go here and see what we can grab. Um, be grabbing anything and everything we can get that is, you know, uh, cheap for the most part. Grab some fever poison, grab some antitoxin, make some energy potions. And we are now at 11 on our skill for Cedric, which is not high at all. And this is gonna take forever for us to get to the point where we can actually make uh, crossbreed potions, which is unfortunate, um, which is why I say it's really useful to have a, uh, a really high uh, intelligence or skill alchemist. Um, Otto of Atham. I don't know what this red lock means. I really don't. Um, but 31 alchemist skill and 30 intelligence is pretty good. This guy's got 61, which is amazing. Uh, and he'd be able to make whatever, but he costs an arm and a leg. 
Um, and we did complete our research. We're going to go ahead and, you know, grab organ removal four. And we're going to end our turn. And now we're at the guild fair. And we should be able to afford, ooh, a black bear. Black bear would actually give us some really nice tanking potential. They're really good. They're really beefy. Really, really beefy. Um, we'll pick up all of our crossbreed potions. We're going to see if there's anything here. No, there is not. So we're going to pick up the black bear. That black bear, I want it. <clears throat> we're going to burn a lot of money for it. You have an organ but it's worth it. And now we have a spiny rat that we can combine with a black bear and get something beyond just spunky. And then after our spiny, our spiny rat black bear, ooh, spunky is actually going to be turning old very shortly. Um, so we have four turns left, uh, and then nine turns on that. Um, how many turns do we have here? We have spine that grows up very soon. Uh, light hemophilia. I really don't want to have light hemophilia on uh, any of them, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to get our black bear fully coated out in a uh, carnivora meat because I want her to be... Uh, uh, we're we're going to name you uh, Bessie. We're going to keep Bessie. We're, we're going to hold on to Bessie for a very long time. You really put in some hours figuring this shit out. Huh? The stream's like day and night to last one in terms of what's what. Uh, yeah, Sean, so I put in about 20 hours between the last stream and this stream. Eh, not quite. Um, I probably put in about 16 hours of gameplay to figure out what's what, and I really figured out how to break it down. But yeah, like, it's night and day with uh, what you learn and what you're capable of doing once you figure out how to actually play the game. It really is. So now, you like, last time, we weren't even able to survive a couple of years, right? Now, don't get me wrong... We're playing on the hardest difficulty settings, and we weren't even able to get this far in our last one based off of like what we rolled and what our starting unit was. So just having a little bit of extra fodder of money uh, for the uh, beginning, like that extra 200 just helps cut down on your costs, and like it made a night and day difference. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you have an doing this with an alchemist gets rough i'm not gonna uh but this is also why you normally don't you know play on uh master difficulty like it th this is meant to be a, as much of a challenge as you can get and this is kind of like you know a ludus management the food game so we have spine coming up kill bessie uh do i have any males that are gonna be really good we have just the regular spiny rat i guess that's fine um we have three more turns until you're able to breed that's okay let's go to the tournament here and we are going to do, um, I think we can do range combat. We're starting to get some of our units in here. None of them were crippled, which is great. And now we have a couple of extra, you know, levels here. So now we are like super set on, Hel Helgram's a mega tank now. He's got so much health, it's not even funny. Um, we have the heal ability, and we are going to keep bumping up our magic staff ability right now. We're still engrossed and entertained, don't get me wrong, but yeah, this is a lot of learning, lessons learned. Yeah, yeah, I have learned a lot. I have, uh, I have essentially lost the game. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've, uh, lost multiple runs on this game trying to figure stuff out and then I got to the point where I was able to you know survive and then but once you're able to actually get self-sufficient um, when it comes down to money generation here um, that, that's really it you just got to get to the point where your economy isn't completely screwed and um, I'm at the point on my other run where I'm making almost 10,000 gold a, a, a turn and that's like after all my expenses and I'm expensing a lot of things like I can uh, have not just beasts but I have like I have like a maxed out monster keep I have all sorts of stuff right so if, if, like and that's my alchemy test right um, and I've played a lot in that one um, but yeah so there's there's a lot of stuff that you learn but you just need to learn to 
uh, be very uh, conservative on your finances whenever you're playing this game. Um, and th this is the, the bulk of it is this right here. And I know if I were to fight through every single fight in the arena, I'd probably win more than just auto resolving them. However, um, the arenas feel kind of sad, uh, especially when you're fighting ranged units. So archers in this game are actually super strong and it's kind of infuriating how strong they are. So I don't do a lot of quests due to how strong archers are because you will take 10 to 20 damage every round um, until you reach them. And if you've seen how, how, how much health Spunky had, Spunky only had like 35, 36 health. So if you're taking 10 to 20, uh, if you're taking like 10 damage every turn until you get to them and it takes two turns for you to reach the archer, you're almost dead at that point. And if there's more than one archer, you're basically like, you can only send in six or seven units. So if you're sending in six or seven units and their archers are completely bogging you down that badly, um, by the time you reach them, you're outnumbered two to one. Uh, I mean, not two to one, but you're outnumbered by two people. And if they have, you know, four archers and four warriors and you're going in with like seven units, you're already outnumbered when you go in and then their archers take out two or three of your units and then they just sit behind the warriors. Yeah, no, you're, you're screwed. So actually the better way for you to fight is for you to get really good frontliners like Helgrim here, who's got, you know, a ton of HP and get, so he has 57 hit points, man, 57. You know how, like, that's an insane amount of hit points, but this is how it has to be because otherwise we're just not going to get where we need to be right and we're 22 at level 9 here we're just slowly leveling up all of our abilities but 57 hit points is great we need to get him even tankier though right so we have 28 in defensive skills we have 28 in one-handed weapon skills and eventually we'll get him to the point where he'll be uh so beefy and tanky that he's just going to be able to counter attack and quick strike everybody and we'll be fine but we got to get to that point um, and then he'll be able, he, he'll be stronger than almost any monster we can breed. And that's why I'm focusing on getting slaves and not, uh, just standard recruits because I can't afford to up, uh, pay an extra 150 gold every turn just because I need, uh, stronger units for fighting. I just can't, I can't do that. Um, let's see here. We have Spine here who grew up. What's your, Spunky is your mother. And then... A bunch of your siblings are killed. That's okay. We can we can breed you with our bear, Bessie, Bessie the bear. We're gonna do mages pets because I need Doctor Frankenfetter to level up. Then we'll send in the abominations and the kills, and hopefully no one is crippled. We just got three that got crippled. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kill two. You are done. Organ removed. Kill one. You are done. Organ removed. You have an organ in your inventory. Okay. Now. You have an organ. Spiny rat. Honest. What if I just like implant an organ in you? Oh wait, I can't. I don't have the research for it. Am I researching yet? Nope. No, I'm not. Um, we are going to get rid of all of these. We're going to get rid of most of these. We're going to get rid of these organs because they're going to deteriorate. And we are still waiting. Uh, for us to get things to where they can be bred. Um, Abomination 4, you are also losing you your organs, organ. and I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, get rid of that because it's going to deteriorate every round and be worth less every round, so yeah. Um, kill 3, congratulations, you survived. Uh, you have light hemophilia and fast metabolism, and you're an infertile, but I mean, at least you don't have fragile bones, which is... Kind of the only thing that's really screwing us over right now is fragile bones. If I, if I pay attention to fragile, I'm just going to start marking them as fragile. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. Spine, you don't have fragile, so you're good. Spunky, you don't have fragile, so you're good. I can still breed you one more time before we're, we're done with you at least. Okay, we're going to the herb market real quick. We're going to buy all the cheap stuff. 
all the cheap stuff as well as more of this stuff that we need for our reproduction potions. And that's basically all I can do from the looks of it. We're going to get as much of this super cheap poison stuff that we can get, though. Anything I can find that won't be too expensive, we're doing it. And we don't have anything else there, so we're going to hold off on that. Man, the abomination variables and possibilities are so awesome. Bro, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the full launch. Because, think about it. Just think about it. There is a single unit in the game that has the ability to regenerate health points. Right? A single unit to regenerate health points. Now imagine. Imagine that you are in... That unit is a lizard. Right? It's a reptile. Now imagine that you're able to combine the regenerative factor from that reptile with the tankiness of a bear with spines from one of these spiny rats or another spined animal that will reflect damage back. That's pretty awesome, right? But wait, there are also special animals that have life steal, energy steal, tail attacks. You can make the ultimate unit by just grabbing these traits and breeding them together. Yes, you can do that. It's awesome. Is there a way to farm materials like that in the world and game? There is not. So there's no way for us to currently farm materials in game uh, for this. Like the only way for you to farm it is to buy it when it gets new in stock or for you to be an alchemist. So when you are an alchemist, you will randomly produce herbs. Just like when you're a warrior, you will randomly produce money. And by randomly, I mean every turn, 200 of it. When you are a archer, you will randomly produce meat as well as juvenile uh, units and juvenile monsters as well as eggs. But they're like purebreds, right? So that's kind of how uh, all of this works. And then as a mage, mages are really cool because mages get a taming bonus and like a massive taming bonus. You're able to tame almost everything without having to use extra stuff, which I think is really cool. Um, and the, the mage is honestly one of the strongest things uh, to use when you're learning the game, especially on easier difficulty levels because you don't have to focus on uh, creating taming potions and having to actually try to tame uh, monsters because tame monsters are much more valuable than wild monsters because now you're able to fight in these arenas that are non-lethal and if you lose you can just keep using the same monsters which is the big thing juvenile wolf you know what what we need is we need a wolf we need a bear and then we need to get them all to be bred together but i need to hold off on that hold off on that oh no whoa, 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 whoa. hold off on that Reason being is I don't want to get ahead of myself on money and we will be getting ahead of ourselves on money if I'm not careful. Spunky. Spine. I don't... Uh, I think Spine's mom is Spunky, right? But we can send in the Spiny Rat. So, another thing is that there's more than one type of potion that you can put in here. I'm not an alchemist and I don't have a lot of potions. But you can get a uh, alteration potion which adds in mutations which is really cool or you know you can add in enough crossbreed potions to where you don't actually get any bad traits and then it will just be pack attack versus spiny skin and that is now what you get um Honestly, it's a really smart idea. Once you get to the point where you're able to have multiple crossbreed potions and not be completely screwed on money, uh, it's a really good idea to do that. But I don't have the money. So we're just going to send in one and kind of go with it and hope that we don't get too many bad, you know, units. Um, ooh, fine magma uh, cattle home. We can do that. I can do that. 
And then we're going to send in Kill 3 as well as Kill. And we're going to send in Helgram. And hopefully we win. We won! Oh my god, that's huge! Guys, we just got a Kettle Helm. A Magma Kettle Helm. So, um, there's multiple different uh, weapon tiers, right? So, if we go to the market, just... We, you have the bronze, you have the iron, you have the steel, and you have magma. And then you have moonstone. Moonstone is something that's even, like, cooler than what we've got. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen moonstone gear. I think it's something you have to craft. Um, but that's something beyond me. Um, steel's really, really good. But magma's just better than steel. It's just better than steel. Uh, Moonstone's better than Magma, but, I mean, yeah. So we basically have a really nice helmet. <laughs> it's an enchanted shock helmet. Oh, yeah. We're good. So now, Helgrim's going to slowly but surely get tankier and just get more and more dangerous as we win more of these tournaments that give us better gear that's mid to late game gear, right? So that's kind of what we're going for. Okay, now that we have Helgrim with basically capped out on his uh, health ability and his regular attack, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start pumping up his counterattacks. And once we get to max counterattacks, that's when we're really going to start getting somewhere. Now, the only other thing that would be really good for Helgrim would be to crank up development bonus, but honestly, I don't think it is. I think we'll be okay. And then we're going to want to get to the point where we are able to... Uh, utilize disengage great slash would be really good um as well as a full force blow and probably defensive stance why not but yeah all these abilities they will be very helpful for us in the future we're going to go ahead and sell all the poisons and potions that we've made in the meantime um speaking of the potions i've been talking about right so these ones uh you use when your creatures are in the 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 they're in a juvenile and an egg right um so there is a thing that you can essentially give them a potion instead of a food but there's also like a blood infuser that you will uh that you can buy at the uh, fair or you start off with a basic blood infuser if you are a mage and you'll be able to uh infuse blood of different monster types into your uh, juvenile monsters and your eggs and you'll also be able to uh, put potions into them and these potions have different effects so a stone skin potion will make them more susceptible to being dehydrated however it will increase their physical resistances so if I were to pop this right here they're going to gain 1.4 physical protection but their dry tolerance will decrease and their abomination will increase. And I'm not for having an abomination of a, uh, an animal right now uh, because I don't have a way to counteract that. That's going to be one of my next to-do lists, um, which is for us to build a hatchling cabin. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a hatchling cabin. And now we have this uh, Sea Varanus Cavern, which is a, a water lizard. And we have a Cave Arachnid, which is obviously a spider of some sort. Um, and I don't want to deal with either of them. So we're going to hold off on it. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and end our turn. We're going to send in Helgrim now that he's got wait a second. Yeah, we're going to send in Helgrim here. See if Helgrim's able to start getting more kills now that he's got a, uh, you know, gear. Nope, not quite. Not quite. We are starting to get to the point where we're leveling up more, though, which is exactly what we need. Especially so we can get our uh, our actual combatants like Helgrim and Frankenfurter leveled up. Because Helgrim and Frankenfurter will not get crippled. They don't. They can get beaten as much as, like, humanely possible. But they will not become crippled. And because they can't become crippled, they are better to use and fight as slaves in these fights because you don't have to pay upkeep. You only have to equip them once, and they survive much longer than monsters do, and they don't become crippled like monsters do. So it's kind of like the humans are a lot stronger than monsters are, but you can breed mega monsters. And the mega monsters are obviously stronger than most humans that you'd be able to get. 
and that's kind of like the entire like way the thing works, right? All right, Bessie. Bessie and Spiny Rat. I need I need to y'all to get uh bread. We're going to have us some spiny bears. Spiny bears. Spiny bear. That's going to be great. All right. Spine here has pack attack and spiny skin with light hemophilia, which is not terrible. Spine, who's your dad? Spunky? Oh, oh, I can breed spiny rat with you. Oh, we're doing that next turn. So we're going to end the turn here. And now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to breed spine with spiny rat. Boom. We're going to name it spines. Cool. And now we've got uh, Bessie, who is our bear that is pregnant. And bears are pregnant for a while. So having a male bear is better than having a female bear because you want to actually have a female rat with a male bear because female rats will instantly reproduce um, and you'll instantly Increase have babies. To make your uh, we have an infertile stronger. and this thing is a, is a, is a kill. We, we, we don't want this. Um, this thing is also infertile, but it's not that bad. This is actually kind of a fighter. This is a really good one, too. Um, this one is main, uh, 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 we're going to name you fight. I hope you have good durability for the love of God. You are, uh, you're just a kill. You're not that good. And then you're, uh, comparable to your parent. I don't know which one it was, but yeah, this one is also a kill. Light hemophilia kind of sucks. It really does. Um, Ooh, caravan, 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 caravan. We could get ourselves, uh, 29 year old uh, warrior or 47 year old warrior 47 year old warrior does sound nice but I also know uh, better that having a younger warrior would be just better off for us so that's what we're going to do and you can see we have a fine magma poison blade we have all these really nice things but I can't afford them I really want to get a hold of this guy but I kind of am thinking better of it uh to be honest uh, i kind of want to get like a couple of these warriors just so i could throw them in uh we're gonna get the older ones actually so i'm gonna turn you into an archer so we have a regular slave warrior and then we have a archer and we're going to just utilize them uh so we have a warrior here and we're going to increase his strength so he gets tankier quicker um because he only has 20 max health, which is not much. We are going to lower that. We are going to lower that. We're going to keep his dodge up a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's going to be a shield one-handed guy and we're gonna slowly pump him up. And then we have our archer who is going to max out archery. We're gonna lower that. We're gonna get rid of one-handed parry. We're not gonna be using that very much. Um, I'm gonna keep our dodge up there and we're going to slowly adjust this just a little bit so we're set up in a better position here but yeah that'll be good um we need to get a bow for our archer and we're gonna need to get a weapon for our new fighter um and just taking a quick look see at it we're gonna go ahead and get us a rusty brown short sword and we're going to get us a now bows you don't really get very good ones or anything like that right you can't craft them, but you can find them uh, as arena rewards. So I'm kind of just like hoping that we get something good here. And this guy's got a ton of it. And uh, Helgrim's got a ton of physical damage at this point because his strength is getting pumped up to 38, right? Like he's super strong. <laughs> um, our archer actually has a ton of strength too. What I really should have done when I was looking at the slaves is I should have gone through and checked their stats before picking what their class was going to be, but I didn't. So we didn't get completely optimized slaves, but that's okay, we'll get over it. Um, range of combat, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna send in some of our other rats here. And rats are not like the strongest animals by any means. They just reproduce really quickly. Um, which is kind of, and they're super cheap for upkeep. So that's kind of why we're doing it. Um, 
Oh, bet. This is one that we can send in everyone into. So we're going to send in all four of our regular units, and then we're going to send in Spine and Kill. And we lost, but that's okay, because now all of our slaves are starting to level up more, as well as Helgrim. And Helgrim, obviously, is going to become, like, you know, this god amongst men as he's leveling up. Um, but we're going to slowly get a uh, Baron on set up to where he's, like, an okay tank. And then we're going to get our archer set up uh, pretty much as like a nice ranged DPS. Um, and that's kind of our game plan here. And we are going to take a quick look at our new spines here. We have an untamable one here. This one's rough. Um, we have an infertile one. So it's just a straight up kill. That's okay. Um, we're going to get rid of you as well. And wow, all these are kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. We have not gotten very many good ones. Fight's the only like somewhat decent one. But we still have Bessie that is pregnant for a couple more turns here. And once we get all of these uh, super uh, roided out, essentially, uh, monsters that to grow up, because now, like, now we've got, like, three females that are getting pregnant at a time, right? So we're just pumping out babies. Like, we're pumping them out. Well, you know, you know, cool. Two turns, we have two more units. And uh, actually, in one turn, we have two more units. In two turns, we have two additional units. And then two turns after that, we have four more units on top of that. Like, we're starting to ramp things up here. And this is where you're getting to the point where now you can start going, yeah, I can take on deadly fights and be fine. Right. Because we, we have so many more new units that are coming in, right? Like, it doesn't matter. Um, we haven't been creating anything because I've been a nincompoop. So we got to make sure that we're pumping stuff out so we can get our alchemist leveled up. But we may just get to the point where we're going to fire this guy because he's costing more money than what he's worth because he has terrible skill. Um, honestly, we're just going to fire him. We're going to hold off. We're going to hold off until we find a good alchemist. Like, what about... This guy. This guy's got 90 alchemist skill. Oh, we have too low of reputation. Bro, this guy would be awesome. He's a good healer. He has 90 alchemist skill, and he's greedy. I don't even care if he's greedy, man. Look at that. That's awesome. Like, he is so good with 90 skill. I would hire him in an instant. Oh, his salary is over 1,000. I didn't realize that. I thought it was 118. It's 1188. Oh, my God. That's a ton of money. We're not going to do that. Okay. Um, Claymore. I need a two-handed unit, I guess. So, yeah, we, we need a uh, two-handed weapon restriction. I don't even have two-handed weapons. I can't do that. Um, we're going to send in a doctor. We're going to send in spine. We're going to send in a couple of these kills real quick. It's unfortunate that we didn't win, but that's okay. Um, we're going to hold off on all of that. How much time we got left in this Blackbird cave? Two turns. Okay. Axe and sword. I think I can do a sword one. There we go. And then we can send in spine. Boom. That was nice. We got a nice win there. Nice W. Uh, let's go to the druid market real quick. We have swamp dragon, uh, vulture crabs, and red velvet spider. Or just velvet spiders. Okay. We're going to hold off on that. There's nothing really good there. We have a juvenile black bear, another spiny rat, and some other stuff here. That juvenile black bear, honestly, I should have bought. Like, it's so much cheaper here than what it was at the uh, uh, the convention. I really should have known better. Spunky, you are now old. You are now you are crippled and you're old. I cannot use anything with you. I am sorry, you are gone. Goodbye, Spunky. You will be missed. You are going to die eventually anyway. We're gonna sell your organs for money. Uh, Bessie, you're doing great. Spine, you are slowly getting pretty messed up, so we need to hold off on using you. Um, we have quite a few kills here that we can use. Um, and then fight is pretty good, too. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure everyone's getting beefed up as much as we can. Uh, Spine's, I think, the lowest on everyone right now, so we're going to hold off on using her for a little bit. And I think I have more one more turn before I have to do... Uh, the Black Bear Cave. 
We're going to hold off on that. A Venom Pauldron or a Venom Gauntlet. What is this one? Ooh. I can't send in help. Wait. Okay. Okay, we'll send in you and you, and then I'll send in you, 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 and you. Yep. I just like how most of them are like, oh, yeah, I know this is definitely a defeat. I'm like, all right, well, it is what it is. Um, okay, next up, we are going to double check some stuff here. Um, all of that, all of that. I'm going to grab all of this buy that and now let's take a look at our babies oh we're still waiting one more turn on bessie no bessie already oh here they are it's their spiny bears one two and three fast untaming and infertile this is terrible absolutely awful spiny bear two fast aging spiny skin this one's okay uh Sporky, I guess. Fast aging is not the end of the world. Sickliness, untamable, fast metabolism. This is also you kill. Too. Awesome. It's kind of rough, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to try Black Get Rare Cave because I am wanting to get some stuff in here. We're going to use our ranged units because they'll help us out. Um, we're not going to send in Spiny Rat. Um, what is everyone's stats? I need to know. Okay, so you have 30 health. How much do you have? You have 30. You have 19. So kill 3. We'll send you in. We'll send in kill. Has 31. Spine is 30. This one is 28. Bessie's got 37. We'll send in Bessie. Good old Bessie. Good old Bessie. Fight's really good, but fight does not have high hit points. 32 is pretty solid. Ooh, kills can... We can bump you up a little bit. 26, 32. Okay. Now, here's where things are going to get spooky. I have no idea how tanky these bears are. 37 hit points. Okay, that's rough. There's another one over here with 37. And then we, uh, it's only three bears. Is that only three? Three? Oh, no, there's four. There's another one over there. Okay. Um, this one has two cubs down there. That one has two cubs. That one has two cubs. And that one has one. Okay. So what? Oh, my God. And I'm in a terrible position right now. I, I don't have a way for us to move people around right now. At least not easily. And Helgrim's got 59 health. He can literally tank through one of these bears pretty, pretty freaking easily right now. Um, like, the only way that we'd be able to actually do anything is if we got everyone moved all the way up here. And we'd have to get up. Like, actually all the way up here. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. I kind of want to back out. Because the... the uh, the organization that we've got here is terrible and I can't move anyone around and I don't foresee us being able to beat the bears up here and then get into a better position. The bears are going to rush quicker than we can. So we're going to back out. We're, we're, we're backing out. I can't, I can't do that. And I don't want to lose all of my uh, frontline units just trying to re reorganize. So that's unfortunate. That's kind of an L, but it is what it is. You can only do so much, right? Um, honestly, guys, on that note, I think we're going to call it right here. Um, we're on our master quest. And we're going to go ahead and save right there. But I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out. Uh, we are... I, I, I like to think that, a, a, you know, we're doing pretty good here, right? So um, this is the master difficulty of it and the game does seem a little grindy on it but this is also expected because literally that's what this is this is meant to be hard and more of a grind uh and not you know handing everything out on you uh like ha handing out everything right 
Um, I do recommend on your first playthrough to not play on veteran or master by any means. Um, try to learn the game on an easier difficulty um, because every single difficulty bump makes the game significantly harder and different. Um, and it puts more uh, caveats in uh, front of you at the very beginning. So it gets it takes longer for you to get the ball rolling. But once you get the ball rolling, it's essentially the same thing. You just got to get to where you got the ball rolling. Um, and, and that's really the main uh, differences between the difficulties from what I've found. Uh, actual combat statistics or anything like that isn't really that big of a difference. Yeah, sure, enemies do like 15 or 30% more damage, but it's not enough to where it's, you know, holy crap or screwed kind of thing. Um, but anyway, guys, that is all I've got. So I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out. And we will be back on Sunday. And I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be streaming, but it will probably take a little bit of a break from the monster uh, breeder because I'm going to be making some guides and whatnot uh, for this coming up soon, as well as all the other games and videos that I've got in the backlog that I need to get made and recorded and then edited and sent out. Sorry, I'm trying to get caught up on schoolwork right now, and that's been the priority. As soon as that's done, I'll be able to start pumping out some more YouTube videos and beyond just live streaming. Feels like you're about to sign off. If so, thank you as always. You the man. Aw, oh, Sean, I appreciate you, my dude. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I've got tonight. I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out. We will be back on Sunday. Not sure what we're going to stream, but hope to catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one.